Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another video. This is part of my core series. I know, I'm actually doing a series. Um, I, I've upped it slightly in the fact that I'm going to use two glitters today. But three of the fingers, so the middle finger you'll see has already been done. Um, and then the pinky and the thumb are all going to be in the same core powder, which is the Moira Extension Powder. Um, so you're going to see me put it on two other fingers. It, it's not a major one that I forgot to press record. I swear to God, I press that button. I do. I, I press it and then I look up after <laughs> so long going, oh, really? Really? Yeah. Uh, the glitter I'm coming in here with today, this is called Graphite and it is from the Glitter Fairy. And also the second glitter that I'm going to use is called Banoffee Pie. Oh, doesn't that make you happy? Just Does anybody else visualise it when you say it? You know, we go Banoffee Pie and I just see Banoffee Pie appear in my head. Mm. Not that I'm a big lover of Banoffee Pie, to be honest. I found it a little bit too sickly. Um... There you go, you wanted that information. Um, anywho, so I am doing like a glitter ombre with the two glitters. I know, something a little bit different. Um, and when you see Banoffee Pie, you're going to look at it and go, this looks like a bumblebee. It does look like a bumblebee, but I am not doing a bumblebee design. Not there's anything wrong with it, I do plan to. I hope very much to get some little bumblebees for my collection um but i haven't got any at the moment and i saw the two colors together and thought they look really really nice together and it wasn't till after i'd done it did i realize it looked like a bumblebee and potentially i should have gone off on a little tantrum but this is part of my core series so it's about using minimal products and coming up with a design um for people who haven't got a lot of coloured powders, you know, they're starting off. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to do one a week of more of... It doesn't, have to be a, it doesn't have to be a simple design. It's just using a, the minimal amount of products. So I have, like I say, I've upped it in this one because I've used two glitters rather than just one glitter. But, you know, when you see it on, you, you, you let me off for it. So I'm just going to build out the pinky and the thumb in the cover powder. And you see, it, it, it goes on like a dream. It does. It just, it just slides on beautifully. And I've said it before and I will say it again. I just don't like the colour of it against my skin tone. Now, my, my hands are not as tanned as my lovely practice hand, uh, who I've decided I'm going to call Betty. I don't know why, but I just, it's the only time my practice hand has not had a name. We've had Bob, we've had uh, Grisilda, we have had Patricia. Um, and this one has not been named. And despite asking you guys to contribute and go, think of a name, come up with something for me. Because I was stumped. Probably, so. I couldn't, I couldn't think of one. Um, I didn't have any winning comments, so I've decided I'm just going to call her Betty. There you go. Not that I could ever imagine a Betty potentially having nails. <laughs> but, you know, let's not judge. There could always be. There could always be. So there we go. Uh, we've done that one. And obviously I'm just letting the glitter set. Because the last thing I want to do is come in with the other colour. Um, um I've lost my train of thought. So, yeah, you want to let the first one set before you come on top with the other one. Otherwise, they'll just kind of splurge together. So, here you go. This is Banoffee Pie. Isn't it stunning? It's a whole load of, like, yummy. Because it's got kind of oranges and yellows. And it's just... Nom, 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 nom. I'm just literally, I'm just pulling a little bit of it over the top because I, I don't want it to smother the black, but obviously we don't want to see that harsh line either. 
Okay, yeah, you now you all see Bumblebee, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey ho. It's still cool. I still like it. I did see on Smiley's they've got some they've got some funky little looking uh, bumblebees. I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted, but I've I've just spent quite a lot of money on them. Um, some products which you will see in later videos um so i need to behave myself okay so i'm just dabbing i haven't picked up another bead there i'm literally just using my wet brush and dabbing some extra bits in there just to help fade it out because it wasn't quite as much coverage as I want. And obviously having this colour tips underneath does not help matters. Yeah, but they're the only ones I could get in that colour. Because um, they, they just didn't have any clear at the time. And yeah, I get mine from eBay. I may have a look to go get some more now. Things are starting to open up a bit more. There's more range out there to, to get bits and bobs. Hmm. Um, Okay, now with the thumb, you'll see, so with the pinky finger, I started from the cuticle and worked my way down and built it out that way. Now, the thumb, because it is so much wider, I will start, um, and I'll do it in the th uh, three-bead method rather than trying to do it in two. <laughs> you, can, you can hear my husband wrangling my children in the background, I'm sure. <laughs> So we're just going to build out this thumb and then we will be in for the best part. I'm completely lying this is not the best part of the video but I'm just going to come in and cap the <laughs> the glitter nails um obviously the other nails do not need to be capped they are in core powders um but glitter you do so a recommendation from Trey was to use a wet bead and kind of just go over the top of the glitter to start with to help it kind of sit into the cracks of the glitter then do your capping on top because it makes it a much smoother application and you don't get as many air bubbles. And it is a fantastic tip because it works very, very nicely. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, so throughout this video, this is me working in real time. If you've watched the videos of me doing my hands, this hand was done on exactly the same day. Right? I had no issues doing this set whatsoever. And the only difference is the fact that 
I'd done this one earlier in the day, so early morning, um, and obviously the practice hand has got no heat coming out of it. But that's the only difference. <laughs> there was a little person just came to invade me then. He can hear me talking, so he, he thinks I'm on the phone and has just run away again. <laughs> I like this. I should keep this up. So I'm just going to cap um, that one. And then obviously we'll file them, we'll buff them, and then we will come in with the next part. I tell a lie again, I cheated a little bit more in the fact that I got some of these really cheap stickers from um, Ali Express, and I thought, you know what, it's, it's missing a little bit of something, so I'm going to pop one of those on. All of these though, um, you know, they are, they were not expect, you know, expensive at all, we're talking, you know, I think it's like 40p for the stickers. <laughs> um, I mean, the glitters, the Glitter Fairy glitters are more expensive than Glitter Stella and um, Smiley's. Um, but, you know, you could use any particular black... Uh, you know, I've got a black glitter that came from eBay. So, you know, you, you could use a cheap glitter if you wanted. Um, they're not expensive things to put on there. So here we are. This is the best part of any design. It is top coat time. Where we make these beauties shine. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.